Hello everyone, welcome to the Zoho Payroll video series on salary components. In this video, we will look at what custom allowance component means and the working of the same in Zoho Payroll. Before we get started, let's define custom allowance. A custom allowance is an earning type that is used to create a new earning component that is not available by default in the system. The earning components created using custom allowances can either be fixed pay components or variable pay components. An important thing to know about custom allowance is that any earning component created with custom allowance will not be eligible for any tax exemptions. To take a few examples, first for the fixed pay components, components such as other allowance, branch allowance, etc. can be created using custom allowance. And for variable pay components such as performance linked pay, retention bonus components can be created. Now, let's create an earning component that is a fixed pay using custom allowance. Here, we can see the list of salary components under the earning tab in Zoho Payroll. By adding the earning name and the name in the payslip, we can now create a new earning component. As we want this component to be paid out monthly with the other earning components as part of CTC, we are keeping the pay type set to fixed pay as the next step. Either a flat amount or a percentage of basic may be selected as the calculation type. As the amount may be adjusted while setting up the salary structures of the employees, we are maintaining this as a flat amount and keeping the value at zero. On the right side, we can see the other configurations. Here, the option Make this earning a part of employee salary structure is enabled by default and we will not be able to change this as we have marked the component as fixed pay, which means this earning component will be a part of CTC. And the taxable earning option is also enabled as this component will be a part of CTC and also it is a fixed pay component. We are retaining the option calculate on prorata basis as enabled in order for this earning component to be prorated based on the employee's date of joining or the LOP imposed during the monthly pay run process. Next, we can see the EPF consideration. If this component will be used in the employee's EPF calculation, we can enable this option. There are two options available here always which means that this component will always be taken into consideration when calculating EPF for your employees and the other option only when PF wage is less than 15,000 which if enabled will only be considered when PF wage falls below 15,000. Next we can see the ESI consideration. We can enable or disable this option based on the applicability. Now Show this component in payslip will be enabled by default as the pay type is a fixed pay for this component. Finally, check the mark this as active option to activate this component and it can be associated to any employee. Now, we have created a new fixed pay earning component using custom allowance. Now, let's create a variable pay component using custom allowance. Here. We can create an earning component by entering the earning name and the name in payslip. Next, we will have to configure the pay type as variable pay. The calculation type and the enter the amount fields are not included for variable pay because they are not specified to be paid out on a regular monthly basis. Now, depending on the applicability of this component, we can select to enable or disable make this earning a part of the employee salary structure on the right side of the screen. Here, the option this is a taxable earning can be enabled or disabled based on the applicability of this component. Please note that if this component is part of the employee salary structure, then the taxable earning option will be disabled by default. Let's have the taxable earning option enabled. Now we can see two options in the tax deduction preference, which are deduct tax in the subsequent payroll of the financial year and deduct tax in the same payroll. 
if the first option deduct tax in subsequent payrolls of the financial year is enabled then the income tax amount for this component will be divided equally and deducted every month across the financial year if the second option deduct tax in the same payroll is enabled then the entire income tax amount will be deducted when it is paid to the employee when you disable the taxable earning option you will not be able to see the tax deduction preference as well here next the consider for epf contribution will be disabled as the variable pay components cannot be considered for epf contributions here we can see the esi consideration which can be enabled or disabled based on the applicability now we have the option to enable or disable show this component in payslip here show this component in payslip option will be enabled by default and you will not be able to edit this as this is a taxable component finally check the mark this as active option to activate this component and associate this components in your employee salary structure pro tips when to create custom allowances when there is a requirement to create a new earning component that is not available in the drop down by default when there is a variable pay included in the ctc of the employees an important thing to know about custom allowance is that any earning component created with custom allowance will not be eligible for any tax exemptions with this we have come to the end of this video we hope this video was informative to you on learning about custom allowance component and its working in zoho payroll if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe click the bell icon to get further updates from us thank you